How to make sounds like this. Instead of thinking of this sound as one chord preset, we're gonna split up into three individual tracks and I'll show you why. The top two notes of the chord are gonna be panned left and right and the lowest note is gonna be panned in the middle because we usually keep bass and low frequencies in the middle. The actual synth patches are pretty simple but I'll break it down for you just in case you're not sure. The left and right ones are pretty similar. You're gonna start with a saw and add a filter and the one on the left is a bit percussive so we're gonna adjust the envelope. The lowest note of the chord sounds a bit buzzy and it adds a bit of contrast to the other sounds in the track. So to achieve this, we're going to use a square and we're going to adjust the pulse width. Then we're going to add a 12 dB filter and it's going to let some of the higher buzzy frequencies come through. And I've also added a touch of saturation to enhance that sound a bit more. After you have that, group those three tracks together and process them as one instrument. Add some tape, reverb and EQ. I've boosted the lows but you could also boost the highs if you want. Shape the sound so it fits in your track. And the final important thing to mention about this song is now that we have it on three separate tracks, we have independent control over each note in the chord. You can automate the filter, you can add a subtle pitch drift, you can detune some of the notes if you want. Definitely try this out, it's a good way to add a bit more interest to your track. Each note of the chord has its own personality, its own sound.